A strong start here by Luke Mitchell in lane six for St. Peter's. He leads them through the hundred with a second up his sleeve. Goes through in 55 78. Coming through the 250 metre mark now, the lead has changed. It is now Jacob Blomfield in the middle of the pool. Luke Mitchell in second, Paddy Bayliss sitting in third. The B final of the men's 400 metres freestyle here at the Aon 2020 New Zealand Short Course Championships. Looking forward to the A final coming up next. Fifty metres left to swim here in this B final event number 19, the 400 freestyle for men, and uh, slightly starting to pull away now. This is Jacob Blomfield from Neptune, Otago, the home of distance swimming down there in the south, and it's going to be a fight on for second here. They're going for it, lane five and six. Paddy Bayliss and Luke Mitchell. Paddy Bayliss is going to snatch it, I think. Jacob Bloomfield leads and wins 3.55.99. Some great times by these swimmers. Five, four to five seconds underneath their seed time, looking pretty happy. All of those swimmers going well underneath their heat times and three of them under four minutes. Some great efforts here, some really happy Lane six especially, Luke Mitchell there going to 350, 358. Please join me in welcoming the A finalists of event 19, the men's 400 metres freestyle. Boy oh boy, this is going to be a great race. In lane one from Capital, Sam Brown. In lane two from Tawa, Bronson Lloyd. In lane three from St. Paul's, Ben Littlejohn. In lane four from Capital, Lewis Clearbert. Lane five from Jazzy, Quinton Hurley. Lane six from Aquablades, Zach Reed. Lane seven from Capital, Atakura Julian. And lane eight from Pirates, Joseph Stewart.
So many stars in this one, hard to pick it. Zach Reed in lane six, a nice lane out on the outside for him. Let's see who goes through the 51st. This will be interesting. All of these swimmers will be wanting to get a good start. Zach Reed, Lewis Clearbert, and Ben Littlejohn out the front early. Zach Reed takes them through. He's got a point three of a second lead over Clearbert and Littlejohn. We know he's got speed. He won the 100 and he won the 800. He's going to be very hard to beat Zach Reed. But don't discount Lewis Clearbert in lane four. Zach Reed, top of the pile when it comes to distance swimming in New Zealand at the moment. New Zealand record holder in the 800 metres freestyle. Holding that 0.3 of a second margin over Lewis Clearbert, two very, very talented swimmers. We've got uh, Quinton Hurley, who normally takes a wee while to get going. He's right there in third. Zach Reed not wasting any time as he comes through to the 150 metre mark. The margin opens up now to one and a half seconds over Clearbert in four. Quinton Hurley comfortably in third at the moment. 21-year-old Lewis Clearbert, 20-year-old Zach Reed, 19-year-old Quinton Hurley. 200 metres, this will be a good telling point. They turn and won 49.45. Some swimmers struggling to do that just on the 200. Lots of swimmers, in fact. He's going blindingly quick. The New Zealand record time held by Danian Loder from 1992 at 3.40.46. Can we see a Danian Loder record topple tonight? Zach Reed running about 27.94 per 50. Now open up that lead to three seconds over Lewis Clearbert. Zach Reed coming up to the 300 metre mark. Well in control of this event now. Lewis Clearbert easily in second. Quinton Hurley is in third but still got some work to do looking very very comfortable Zach Reed 75 metres left to swim he's the 17 year old New Zealand record holder Zach Reed but now at 20 years of age 50 metres left to swim for Zach Reed He's getting pushed by his teammates on the other side. He'll be giving it absolutely everything now. The kick's starting to come in. Zach Reed, the champion. Lewis Clearbert holding on. Coming through to finish. Look at the time. 3.40.46. He's going to be just outside, I think. Maybe. They go to the wall. 3.40.95. Just outside the New Zealand record held for 28 years of Daniel Loder, the fastest performance in New Zealand for 28 years. Zach Reed wins the 400 metres freestyle. Lewis Clearbert in second, 345. And in third place, Quinton Hurley, 350. It's taken everyone through to a fast time. But what a time from Zach Reed. 
Zach Reed almost unsteady on his feet as he makes his way over. What a performance, Zach. Uh, can you actually speak? Uh, fell to pieces in that last 100, holy. Uh. It didn't look like it to us. 340.95, so, so close to that 28-year-old record by the legend, Daniel Loder. Uh, 0.5 of a second there, but the fastest time we've seen in this country for 28 years. You must be pretty proud of that effort. Yeah, super stoked. Everything's coming together for the sprint, so I'm over the moon, yeah. In terms of that last 100, you mentioned you fell apart. What does that mean to the people at home and the, in the audience? I just went for it in that first 200 and then started hurting and just tried to hold on and just everything kind of fell apart. My legs started hurting, my arms started hurting, so just trying to hold on for that last 100. With a field, one of the most stacked fields we've seen in a 400 freestyle, only three seconds separating one to eight and 0.3 in the middle five lanes. I mean, what does that do to kind of spur you on and, and get the best performance out of you? I love it. I love the competition. It's good to see um, some of New Zealand getting these finals and getting all these boys together. So, yeah, it's very good. Congratulations, Zach. Awesome performance. Well done. Swimming is my favourite way to start the day. It's my escape from the hustle and bustle. Keeps me moving and keeps me alive. It's the reason I want to be the best one day. It's why, why we're going, going to Epic. See you in Topo. Well, I think everyone's just getting over that final what a final with the gentleman. Now we move to event 20, the women's 400 metre freestyle, and uh, beside the blocks is the C final. In lane one from North Canterbury, Holly Rahu Rahu. In lane two from Mount Monganui, Monique Bartlett. Lane three from North Wave, Amelia Black. In lane four from Evolution, Ella Hosking. In lane five from Swim Timaru, Isabel Sharp. In lane six from Rotorua, Jasmine Hagen. In lane seven from Tasman, Abby Smale. In lane eight from Mount Monganui, Lily Cooney.
250 metres into the sea final for the women's 400 metres freestyle. And in lane four is Ella Hoskin. Turning second, Amelia Black and Holly Rahurahu from lane one, sitting in third at the stage. The three women in the middle lanes looking for to go under four minutes 30. They did four minutes 30 or just over this morning in the heats. And hopefully the competition and the evening atmosphere will spur them on for a even faster time. And a little bit of work to do for Isabel Sharp from Swim Timaru in five. Coming up to the final turn for home, 50 metres to go. And looking at those times, 33, 34 seconds. So we're looking for just under 4.30, I would think, if these, uh, these women can come, uh, keep it that 34, 33 seconds. We'll be looking for a, a 4.27, 4.28. And they go to the wall, 427, 428, Amelia Black takes it out, Ella Hoskins second, Jasmine Hagen is third out of lane six, great job. We move now to the B final of Event 20, the women's 400 metres freestyle. In lane one from Aquablades, Emma North. In lane two from Aquablades, Lucy North. In lane three from Napier Aquahawks, Arabella Smith. In lane four from Evolution, Talita McEwen. In lane five from Aquablades, Bella Wansborough. In lane six from Ashburton, Bree Middleton. Lane seven from Mount Monganui, Lucy Bartlett. And lane eight from Hamilton Aquatics, Jordan Williams. Bree Middleton has taken them through the first 100. 102.42. Lanes four and five, second and third. Starting to settle into the rhythm now. And as we spoke about this morning, these swimmers don't want to become unsettled by what the swimmers are doing either side. They want to stick to the race plan. They will be... They'll be judging their feeling, I guess, on uh, where the energy levels are at at this early stage of the 400.
And lane four is Talita McEwen looking, peering over at her competitors, uh, Bella Wansborough and Bree Middleton now. And she's a real competitor, to Talita McEwen. She's won so many titles. She knows how to win, and that's uh, something that you need, to, you need to learn, you need to grow with. It's actually allowing you the opportunity to win, to feel like you deserve the win. And once you know how to win, that's a, that's a big thing. And Talita McEwen's certainly done this, this championships. She takes a half body length lead over the field now as we come through to 250 metres. Six lengths of the pool to go. And coming up nicely in lane three is Arabella Smith from Napier Aquahawks, just starting to creep up on the hip of Talita McEwen. And this is quite encouraging from here. When they start coming through at this stage, you know they're just really starting to build their race. Ar Arabella Smith. Similar tactic to what she did this morning. And it's a nice thing. It's a nice uh, way to be building into the race and coming back at the end. Never nice to start fast and fade. Uh, but now lane five, Bella Wansborough is coming up. So always interesting, the 400. 75 metres left to swim. And there's going to be a real race, race on our hands now. 50 metres to go in the speed final for the women's 400 metres freestyle. Gutsy performance here by Bella Wansborough. She'll see Talita McEwen alongside her, but it's hard to beat her in the final lap. Talita McEwen puts it into fifth gear. But so does Bella Wansborough. I think it's Talita by a fingernail. They go to the wall. And it is 422.91, 423.07. And when it comes down to a sprint to the finish, you've got to give everything you've got and sacrifice a breath or two and go to the wall hard. And that's what Talita McEwen did th this evening. And looking at those times of four. 22.91, just slightly slower than this morning. Those results there, 10 seconds separating first to eighth in that B final for the 400 metre freestyle for women. We now welcome to pool deck the A finalists of the women's 400 metres freestyle. In lane one from Hamilton Aquatics, Gina McCarthy. In lane two from Evolution Aquatics, Kira Ellett. In lane three from Neptune, Caitlin Deans. In lane four from Phoenix, Hayley McIntosh. In lane five from Neptune, Erica Fairweather. In lane six from Capital, Ruby Heath. In lane seven from Aquablades, Claudia Kelly. And lane eight from Mount Monganui, Molly Shivnan. This is going to be exciting, ladies and gentlemen. The junior world champion in lane five, Erica Fairweather. Hayley McIntosh from Auckland in lane four leads them uh, through into lane four for the final. 
Caitlin Deans in three, but already Erica Fairweather is going to go for it. She's a body length out, and after 50 metres, this is a good sign. 27.61. The junior world record is 3.53.97. If she did that, it would be absolutely amazing. The New Zealand record, 3.55.16, held by Lauren Boyle in 2013. The 16-year-old New Zealand record is held by herself, 4.04.33. So we eye up a few records. She's got a time, obviously her fastest time around, about 4.04.403. We'll see if we can get it under four minutes. Looking back to second place at the moment, it is uh, Caitlin Deans in second, Hayley McIntosh in third. She's had such a good couple of years, only 16 years of age. So many more years to come. But you often see the stars start to shine about 15 to 16 years old. And it's going to be a race on for second and third, I think, in this race. I'd be amazed if someone can catch Erica Fairweather from here as she comes up to the 200 metre mark. Not one to fade, never seen her fade in an event. But is there some speed here in Hayley McIntosh we're not aware of? Is there some speed from Caitlin Deans? Well, if they're going to use it, they better use it soon. She turns in 159.57. So looking for an even split, if we can, from Erica Fairweather to get as near to that four minutes or under as we can. Caitlin Deans just edging ahead of Hayley McIntosh, but still a lot of metres to swim. Looking back to fourth, it is lane one, Gina McCarthy. Fifth is lane six, Ruby Heath. Looking at those times, 32. So Erica Fairweather actually swimming slower 50s than Hayley McIntosh and Caitlin Deans, which is interesting. So these swimmers pegging her back a bit. Erica Fairweather just slowing up a little bit in the middle stages. And Hayley McIntosh has closed that gap. She looks over. Seventy-five meters left to swim. That gap is definitely closed. Hayley McIntosh. I think can sense she's getting closer. Caitlin Deans in lane three, neck and neck. Still a good margin of a body and half length. Erica Fairweather turns for home, 50 metres to swim. A faster time there, 31.58. I don't think they're going to catch her, but that was an interesting middle 300, middle 100 in the... But now... Half a length to swim. She's got it all on her own. Erica Fairweather, we're looking for the New Zealand age group record. 404.3. She's not going to get that, but she's going to win easily. 46.00. Hayley McIntosh takes out silver. And Caitlin Deans, the bronze. Some fantastic times by these swimmers. And we'll get a word with Erica Fairweather in a few moments.
Firstly, a national title, Eric, and congratulations. I do sense a little bit of the disappointment on your face there, but talk us through how you're feeling. Um, yeah, no, I'm pretty disappointed. Um, I had a lot of high expectations for that race, and I think I just let the pressure get to me a bit. Um, yeah, but that's something I can work on now that I know, so yeah. You went out extremely hard. That lead really grew from the very beginning. It closed up a little bit, and then you put your foot down again at the end. The split started to come down again. Was there any sort of, uh, what, was the, what was the game plan today? Um, honestly, I just wanted to go out there and have a good race, and um, unfortunately, I couldn't pull it off tonight, but um, that's okay. Well, well done, Erica. Congratulations on your title. Challenge yourself this summer at the Banana Boat Ocean Swim Series. Distances to suit all abilities. And this year hosting the New Zealand Secondary School Champs. So much more than a swim. Enter at oceanswim.co.nz. Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success for over 20 years. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance, expert advice and local service. Talk to your local Aon insurance broker today. Well, welcome back. Uh, we move now to event 21 on the program. It is the men's 100 metres individual medley finals, and we start with the C final. In lane one from Jazzy is Connor McCulloch, two from Raumati, Thomas uh, Kokoro Frost, three from Jazzy, Daniel Bridgman, and also from Jazzy, Hugo Rathal. Lane five from St. Paul's, Kieran Watson, six from St. Peter's, Hunter Reed, seven from Sun Devils, Jake Stevens, and Cal Igledon from Mount Monganui in eight. Fantastic start in two by Thomas Kokoro Frost, the visitor. He's decided, I'm not happy with my heat swim. I'm going to show them. That's often what happens if a swimmer just uh, has a bad race in the morning. They come back with a vengeance at night. And uh, Thomas Kokoro Frost storming home, but as is Hugo Rathel, who's flying home. One minute point one two, so two seconds faster for Thomas there in lane two. And if there'd been a few more metres in that pool, it could have been Hugo Rathel's race, that one. We now move to the B final of event 21, the men's 100 metres individual medley. In lane one from Aqua Gym, Connor Barr. Lane two from St. Paul's, Connor, uh, Carlos Hardy. Three, Thomas Wilkinson from Evolution. Four, Matthew Sexton from Sun Devils. Five, Connor Farrell from Evolution. Six, uh, Moab he uh, Heinekamp from Tasman. Seven, C uh, Cooper Gouge from Capital. And eight, Max Gardner from Faranui.
Lane three, Thomas Wilkinson, Evolution, leads them back down the final 25. He's going to get some challenges out in lane six from Moab Heinekamp. He's not going to be challenged, though. Num lane uh, three wins it. Thomas Wilkinson in a great time of 58.92. Where were these times this morning? Wow. And uh, that great performance there by Thomas Wilkinson, which would have easily got him in. No, not easily. No, in fact, he would have still been shut out of that final, but a great time. Please welcome to the pool deck the A finalists of the men's 100 metres individual medley. In lane one from Hamilton Aquatics, Daniel Hardy. In lane two from Faranui, William Campbell. In lane two from, sorry, lane three from Neptune, Zeke Pine. In lane four from North Canterbury, Jeremy Tasker. In lane five from Kiwi West, Luan Grobola. In lane six from St. Peter's, Tyler Tapper. Lane seven from Enterprise, Jack Keeper. And lane eight from Evolution, Tarquin Magna. Watch for the middle of the pool, the three swimmers. It is Jeremy Tasker, the 26-year-old in lane four, the butterfly specialist. He'll take them out real quick. He goes to the wall, not the best entry into the wall, and he comes out into an amazing backstroke, streamlined entry into that 25. Zeke Pine challenging him already. What a turn from both of them into the breaststroke. Zeke Pine is leading now. Zeke Pine, the 19-year-old. Jeremy Tasker trying to hold on. Luan Grobola coming through very fast. It's going to come down to the final 25. Can Zeke Pine hold on? Jeremy Tasker coming through. Luan Grobola. It's going to be anyone's. Five metres to swim. Luan Grobola gets it. Jeremy Tasker. We look at the times. Luan Grobola, Zeke Pine, and Jeremy Tasker, first to third. What a race. And a first title for Luan Grobola at this meet. A gutsy performance. He came back from a bit of a margin down at the halfway mark. And we'll catch a word with him now. <laughs> put it there Luan he's still struggling to talk he's uh, put it all into it 100 metres individual medley first title of the championships uh, must be a good feeling yeah it definitely is get, get to redeem myself a bit so yeah very good feeling seeing a lot of speed out of you at these championships has that been a difference in your training uh, definitely I think it was a bit more speed focused the last couple of weeks so yeah definitely and now we took the 200 breaststroke after this one, so uh, not long until we see you again. Um, 
What do you do now to freshen up for that race? I just kind of have a bit of a loosen and then just listen to music and recover. Well, good man. Congratulations. That was a really exciting event. Awesome. Thanks. We move now to event 221, the 100 individual medley for men, para, multi-class. And we're going to welcome them to the pool deck now. In lane three from Whangarei, the world record holder, Cameron Leslie. In lane four, from Blenheim, Jack Bugler. And in lane five, from Trojans, Bailey Conlon. Away we go, Cameron Leslie in three, and uh, a world record time this morning, he gets into the butterfly, Jack Bugler today, New Zealand record this morning as well in good form, Bailey Conlon goes through first in the butterfly leg, so SM14, uh, intellectual disabilities for lanes four and five, and S4, uh, the physical disability clearly for Cameron Leslie. And he's uh, going to try and come out again and better that record, I'm sure. And I really want to have a chat to him because we haven't yet about that world record. And uh, he was saying to me earlier this morning that it was really good to break that one. It was a tough one to break. Some of them are tougher than others, but that one and the 50 freestyle, incredibly tough to break. So... Coming down the final lap, we'll be looking for a 118 low for Jack Bugler to break his New Zealand record all over again. And he comes to the wall. 113, 26. Wow, both of these swimmers. So, no, not quite. Well, we'll come back to that record for Jack Bugler, but we come back to Cameron Leslie, who's powering the last five metres into the wall. He's not quite going to get as fast as he was this morning, but a win all the same. One minute, 36. Point two seven. He must have uh, left it all in the pool this morning. But great uh, swims by those three swimmers. We're just uh, finding out who has taken that title. Yeah, would like to chat to Cameron Leslie and the winner. Still just working out the calculation based on the disability class. We'll come back to you very shortly with the interview. But Cameron Leslie, once you've readied yourself, if you could make your way over to see me. So uh, just working through the numbers, but I think pretty sure Cameron Leslie would have won that event.
hardly given you a chance to put your shirt back on. Congratulations, Cam. Uh, amazing swim this morning. Uh, nearly backed it up for another one tonight. But uh, talk us through how that felt this morning, getting that world record in the 100 IM. Yeah, this morning was a, it was a good swim. Um, it's just one of those things, eh? Like, I don't get to race 100 IM very often, so it's nice to be able to put in a good race there and break a, an old world record with a pretty decent time. You said you hadn't done that event uh, ever or not often? Yeah, I don't think I've ever swum it. Maybe when I was a, a kid, years ago. Long time ago now. Good, good for a first hit out, I'm sure. Talk us through, um, obviously with your disability, you have to adapt the strokes, the, all of the strokes probably have sli something slightly different you've got to do. Is that, you know, is that just taking a lifetime to perfect in terms of swimming all four strokes with your disability? Um, a lot of similar principles to with an able body swimmer, like body position and catch and things like that. Uh, for myself, I don't get a whole heap of rotation. I get some, but not a lot. Um, breaststroke's probably the one that's quite different to the rest for me. It's uh, yeah, very modified, but hey, that's just the way it's got to be, eh? It does indeed. Well, uh, looking forward to seeing you also did the world record in the 50 metres freestyle. So what a morning. I I'm sure you wouldn't have had too many mornings of two world records in a morning, but uh, we look forward to seeing you in action shortly. Awesome. Cheers, Scott. From the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance, with expert advice and local service. From quote to claim management, we're with you every step of the way. Talk to your local Aon insurance broker today. Welcome back. We move to event 22, the women's 100 metres individual medley. And we start with the C finalists. In lane one from Queenstown, Sarah Jamieson. Lane two from Potidua, Lucy Abbott. Lane three from Selwyn, Chloe Newbigging. Lane four from Kiwi West, Alina Wong. Lane five from St Paul, Sarah Miller. Lane six is Ella Drummond from Capital. Lane seven, Zoe Wilkinson from Evolution. And lane eight, Alicia Wong from Pirates. And you're going to be a nice win from lane four for Alina Wong. She goes to the wall. Lane five will take second. Sarah Miller and Ella Drummond on her outside takes third. And she's really happy. 108.01. She did a PB this morning and has gone under it again. So congratulations, uh, Alina Wong. We move now to the B final of event 22, the 100 metre individual medley for women.
In lane one is I- Isabella Thurlow from Tasman. In lane two, Talita McEwen from Evolution. Lane three, Amy Pratt from Orca. Lane four from Central Hawks Bay, Caitlin Jenkins. Lane five, Swim Timaru's Isabel Sharp. Lane six is Savannah Burke from St. Peter's. Lane seven, Samantha Wilson from Tasman. And lane eight, Jade Houston from St. Peter's. Close race with seven of these swimmers doing 107. Seven of these swimmers this morning doing 107. So it really is who's going to come out best in the finals. Lane three coming through. That is Amy Pratt. Katie, Katie, Caitlin Jenkins trying to hold on, but it is going to be Amy Pratt from Walker that leads them through and wins 106.63. A great swim by her, and Caitlin Jenkins is second. Savannah Burke from six is in third. Gutsy performance there by Amy Pratt. She, they all turned together at the 75, and she would have taken a good, well, nearly a second out of the rest of the field in the 25 freestyle. Please welcome to the pool deck the A finalists of the women's 100 metres individual medley. In lane one from Aquablades, Sasha Reed. In lane two from Jazzy, Kaylee Jackson. In lane three from Mount Monganui, Zylika Pratt Smith. In lane four from St. Paul's, Laura Littlejohn. In lane five from Phoenix, Vanessa Owenhand. And lane six, I should say, Hannah Bates from Faranui. Lane seven from Neptune, Jessica Scott. And lane eight from St. Peter's, Sarah Wilson. Laura Littlejohn in the form of her life in lane four. She was three one hundredths of a second outside of uh, Bree Crawford's New Zealand age group record for 16 year olds. She goes to the turn second there to Vanessa Owenhand, who is a butterfly specialist. And Vanessa Owenhand still leads the way down, halfway down the second length. Looking strong, Vanessa Owenhand. It's going to be a battle on for the second 50. And look at that turn. Laura Littlejohn comes out first. That was just in the pullout. Laura Littlejohn starts to creep ahead just slightly. Both of these swimmers doing incredibly well. And in lane two and three is Kaylee Jackson, Zileka Pratt Smith. Beautiful turn and breakout for Laura Littlejohn. No one's going to catch her. Body length lead now for her. Can she get under that New Zealand record for the age group? She goes to the wall. 101. She is the new New Zealand age group record holder. Pumping the fist. She's pretty happy. Vanessa Owenhand is second. 102.82. And Zileka Pratt Smith just coming in for third in front of Hannah Bates in lane six.
Congratulations, Laura. Another title, what a performance, 101.04. Underneath the New Zealand 16-year-old age group record, you were just over that this morning, so it must be a good feeling. Oh, it feels so good. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to get even close this morning and to do what I did this morning and then back it up again. Yeah, I'm really happy. What's interesting, I saw in that race that you were actually second place at the 50. You came out with that breaststroke pullout and were in front already. And then again at the freestyle turn, you took another half body length out of Vanessa Owenhan. Are these things you've been, I mean, so important in short course? Oh, definitely in training, especially during short course season, I know to always focus on my turns because I know they're such a vital part of each race. Well, it's exciting watching you every race. So well done, Laura. Congratulations. Thank you. We welcome to the pool deck event 20, uh, 222, the 100 metre individual medley for women, para multi-class. And just a reminder to everyone, team managers, the medal ceremony will be starting immediately after this race. We welcome to lane two, Melissa Donahue from Hamilton Aquatics. In lane three from Faranui, Lily Fox Mason. Lane four from Faranui, Gabriella Smith. Lane five from Hamilton Aquatics, Nikita Howarth. And lane six from Zenith, Katie Short. Nikita Howarth, the world record holder in lane five in class SM7, a physical disability, alongside her Gabriella Smith and Lily Fox Mason and Melissa Donahue with a disability class of SM10 and Katie Short with a sight impairment in lane number six. The time this morning of 1.23.12 took Nikita Howarth through to a world record and just as before, we'd like to try and take her through to another one this evening. She's hanging nice and tough with uh, the girls in three and four. Beautiful turn there into the breaststroke leg. And they turn in 37.75. And breaststroke probably favouring Nikita Howarth. A good long, a big hard um, leg drive here with a breaststroke. Almost ready to take the lead. This is a good sign here for Nikita Howarth. She's going to touch first at the 75. Goes into the free sub again, an arm, a shoulder and arm dominant strokes. So she's going to lose a bit of ground here in the final lap. Gabriella Smith takes the lead and powers home. Looking for a time of 123.12 for Nikita Howarth. Gabriella Smith touches. Go to the wall. 123.07, a new world record for Nikita Howarth. Lily Fox Mason comes through third on the wall with a much faster time from this morning as well. We look for Katie Short here. Katie Short's done a PB2. That's a great effort. And uh, Melissa Donahue just with uh, 10 metres to swim. Two world records in a day for Nikita Howarth after coming back. Uh, 18 months ago, back to swimming. Melissa Donoghue, 159, right on her PB. We'll speak to Nikita Howarth shortly, and the winner, if she is, of the whole event.
Just catching your breath, Nikita Howarth, congratulations, well done. Two world records in a day. We couldn't have a quick. We, we didn't have a quick chat to you this morning, but nice to have a chat to you now. First reaction to what has been a wonderful day for you. Um, I don't. I don't know. I just can't really believe it. Um, world records are, you know, amazing in itself, and to improve better in the afternoons, it's really hard. <laughs> Tell us about uh, your little hiatus from 18 months you got back into it. Talk us through that uh, part of your career. Um, the part where I was not swimming was hard, but then I took like six or seven months to get fully back into training. And um, yeah, now it's been almost a year and I'm really loving it. Difficult, but yeah. And what do you put this uh, latest performances down to? Um, obviously, a lot of time to train through this sort of COVID period and things like that, and you've got a little bit older in terms of the, the mental side of things. But, um, you know, what do you put this, these fantastic performances down to? Um, I've got to be honest, it's just um, consistent training, really. Um, so I train like seven or eight times a week and then two gym on top of that. And, um, yeah, that's, it's just been constant. Um, and, you know, having a good mindset as well also really helps. So... I haven't raced in a while and I was really looking forward to it. Yeah. Well, it was exciting seeing you touch the wall first at the 75 metre mark. I'm not sure if you knew that or whether that was uh, expected. But then again, and then coming home so quickly and just getting that record by 0.1 of a second. Uh, amazing. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. From the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance expert advice and local service from quote to claim management we're with you every step of the way talk to your local aon insurance broker today challenge yourself this summer at the banana boat ocean swim series distances to suit all abilities and this year hosting the new zealand secondary school champs so much more than a swim enter at oceanswim.co.nz Swimming is my favourite way to start the day. It's my escape from the hustle and bustle. Keeps me moving and keeps me alive. It's the reason I want to be the best one day. It's why we're going to get it. See you in Topol. So just a call for those swimmers that are placing in the 100 metres individual medley and the 400 metres freestyle to make their way as quick as they can to the medal ceremony area. Thank you.
We start the first medal ceremony, event 19. The men's 400 metres freestyle final in third place in 3.50.09 from Jazzy Swim Club, Quinton Hurley. Silver medalist in 3.45.09 from Capital Swim Club, Lewis Clearbert. And winning in a time of 3.40.95 from Aquablades, Zach Reed. We move now to the next medal ceremony, event 20, the women's 400 metre freestyle final, and we start with third place, the bronze medal, four minutes 8.66 from Neptune, Caitlin Deans. In second place, the silver medalist 40803 from Phoenix Aquatics, Hayley McIntosh. And winning the gold medal in 4 minutes 6.00 from Neptune Swim Club, Erica Fairweather. On to event 21, the men's 100 metre individual medley final. In third place, in 55.82 from North Canterbury, Jeremy Tasker. In the silver medal position in 55.72, Zeke Pine from Neptune. And winning in a time of 55.57 from Kiwi West Aquatics, Luan Gobala. Move now to event 221, 100 metres individual medley for men, para multi-class. In third place, in 1 minute 15.34, from Topo Swimming Club, Bailey Conlon. In second place, in 113.26, from Blenheim Swimming Club, Jack Bugler. And winning the gold medal in 136.27, the world record holder from Whangarei Swim Club, Cameron Leslie. Now to event 22, the women's 100 metre individual medley final. In third place in 103.63 from Mount Monganui Swimming Club, Zylika Pratt-Smith. Second place in 102.82 from Phoenix Aquatics, Vanessa Auenhand. And winning the gold medal and a new New Zealand age group record for 16-year-old girls in 10104 from St Paul's Laura Littlejohn. And the final medal ceremony of this section of the evening, event 222, 
100 metre individual medley for women, para multi-class. In third place in 123.55, Lily Fox Mason from Faranui Swim Club. In second place in 119.04 from Faranui, Gabriella Smith. And winning in a world record time of 1.23.07 from Hamilton Aquatics, Nikita Howarth. the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance. Expert advice and local service. From quote to claim management, we're with you every step of the way. Talk to your local Aon insurance broker today. Challenge yourself this summer at the Banana Boat Ocean Swim Series. Distances to suit all abilities. And this year hosting the New Zealand Secondary School Champs. So much more than a swim. Enter at oceanswim.co.nz. Swimming is my favourite way to start the day. It's my escape from the hustle and bustle. Keeps me moving and keeps me alive. It's the reason I want to be the best one day. It's, it's why, why we're going, going to do it. it. See, See you in Topo. Top. Racing with event 23, the men's 200 metres breaststroke. We start with the C finalists. In lane one from Breen Bay, Corey Brown. Lane two from Midihiku, Regan Cross. Lane three from Neptune, Jordan Kelleher. Lane four from Nelson South, Wilson Huata Finlay. And lane five from Evolution, Zach Reader. Lane six from Swim Timidu, Matthew Gray. Lane seven from Pirates, Sean O'Connor Close. And lane eight from Jazzy, Oliver Heaton. Fifty metres left to swim, 
And in lane six, Matthew Gray is looking good. He's coming up on lane five, Zach Reader. Three of them touching together with 25 metres to go. It's all about the pullouts, isn't it? And Matthew Gray wins that race. Matthew Gray looking very, very comfortable in the fi final 25. He goes through to win it. It'll be anyone's for second. Wilson Huata Finlay from lane four takes second. Zach Reader from five and third. And looking at those times of 2.31, a little bit, uh, a little bit slower, a little bit faster for some. We move now to the B final of event 23, the men's 200 metres breaststroke. In lane one from Aquablades, Oliver Dooley. Lane two from Faranui, Max Gardner. Lane three from Jazzy Archie Perium. Lane four from St. Paul's, Boston Tordoff. Lane five from Trojans, Michael Lansdowne. Lane six from Wanaka, Benjamin Silipo. Lane seven from Lisvan Willie Aquatics, Kalani Bruce. And lane eight from Nelson South, Connor Eden. Doing a great job out here in lane seven. Kalani Bruce from Liz Van Willey Aquatics. He leads the way through by th three seconds with 50 metres to swim. He's looking really comfortable. Very good technique. He's going to take out this B final, I'm sure. Can't see any fatigue coming here with Kalani Bruce. well ahead one and a half body lengths ahead this is a fantastic performance by the 16 year old and in lane four boston tordoff will come through for second but uh, look at that kalani bruce 225 taken four seconds off his time from this morning and second place goes to michael lansdowne and third to max gardner And looking at that result, eight seconds separating one to eight. Convincing win for Kalani Bruce there. We welcome to the pool deck the A finalist of the men's 200 metres breaststroke.
in lane one from Capital, Shane Maskell. In lane two from Swim Zone Racing, Alexander Unstead Jost. In lane three from Kiwi West, Luan Grobola. In lane four from Evolution, Joshua Gilbert. Lane five from Aquablade, Zahn Collins. Lane six from Aquablades, sorry, from Faranui, Tom Drever. Lane seven from Faranui, Flynn McDonald. And lane eight from Phoenix, Alexander Wilson. The battle be in the middle of the pool, lane four and five, so close this morning in the heats. Zahn Collins took it out in the heat this morning, and then Joshua Gilbert finished up to win the heat this morning into lane four. Luan Grobola, he's had a great meet so far, but can he go through at a 200 metre level? He's a strong breaststroker too, over the 200 metre. But this pace will be hot over the first 50 hundred. Joshua Gilbert takes the first 50 by half a second. Has he gone out too hard? Who knows? Zahn Collins in second. Luan Grobola is right there as well. He's dangerous there. 75 metres swum. It's going to come down to the pullouts for technique. And of course the endurance. A very, very taxing event, the 200 metre breaststroke. More taxing than you'd think. Nothing in it, Zahn Collins right on the shoulder of Joshua Gilbert. Luan Grobola right there. I'm liking where he's at right now. There hasn't been a final like this in a while with 200 breaststrokes. So much talent at the top level. A third of a length ahead of the rest of the field. Josh Gilbert still leading the charge, but has he gone too early? Can he hold on? Quarter of a body length lead over Zahn Collins. This is where they're going to have to make their move. Zahn Collins starting to come up on him. Still a margin to Josh Gilbert. Josh Gilbert can sense it's his. He's going to have to give it everything he's got. Look at the insurance here from Josh Gilbert. Holding on, he's going to get there. What a swim from start to finish for Josh Gilbert. Zahn Collins in second, Luan Grobola in third. Wow, look at those times. 209.45. And a new New Zealand record for Luan Grobola in the 18-year-old category. He takes it by two one-hundredths of a second from George Schroeder, who had that record back in 213. So a great swim there by Luan Grobola. And Luan, we might get you over here for a quick chat after we've talked to Josh. Josh, congratulations. You went out fast from the very beginning. Uh, I guess everyone was thinking, could you hold that pace? Could you hold that margin? There was no, it never changed the whole time. And that last 25 just showed so much guts there with so much endurance. Are you, you know, pleased with that performance? Yeah, I've got to give a big shout out to my coach Mike for uh, 
getting me ready for this competition, especially after COVID. He's, uh, I feel like he's done a very good job. Yeah, I mean, that 200 breaststroke, such a taxing event uh, with so much leg drive coming in, can really take it out of you. To get that endurance, I mean, how much training are you putting in? How many times a week? How much mileage? And of those sessions, how much of it's breaststroke? Um, uh, at the moment, I'm only doing eight swim, swim sessions and two gym sessions. And quite a fair bit of it's breaststroke, especially uh, for working on my back end. So, yeah. Well, congratulations. You've got two of the breaststroke events to your name. So, congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. We have a quick chat to the Bula as well. He uh, surprisingly, uh, I could see his face in the pool at the end. New New Zealand record holder for 18 year olds, two one hundredths of a second under that record. Um, but you were looking dangerous the whole way, Luan. You were right there, but didn't quite manage to get through for that uh, 209 at the end of win. But uh, you must be happy with that. Very happy, yeah. Just the lack of endurance a bit at the end, but I will. Something to work on. In terms of that middle distance versus or sprinting and, and, and that 200 distance, uh, what, what way are you sort of starting to feel you're going to go? Uh, probably mid distance, eh? Keeping with the 200s, yeah. Well, congratulations. Well done. Look forward to seeing you in the pool again soon. Swimming is my favorite way to start the day. It's my escape from the hustle and bustle. Keeps me moving and keeps me alive. It's the reason I want to be the best one day. It's why we're going to eat. See you in Topo. Welcome back. Uh, we're now at event 24, the women's 200 metre breaststroke finals, and we'll start with the C finalists. In lane one from Swim Timaru, Heidi Hughes. In lane two from Capital, Ella Drummond. Lane three from Rotorua, Annalise Cowie. Lane four from Ashburton, Hannah King. Lane five from Nelson South, Kate Barton. Lane six from Orca, Rihanna Short. Lane seven from Central Hawks Bay, Caitlin Jenkins. And lane eight from St Peter's, Emma Maltzhead. This is the C final of the women's tournament of breaststroke. And leading the way at the moment is uh, lane five's Kate Barton from Nelson South. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank our partners Aon, Sky Sport Next, and Teamline. Teamline up at the end of the grandstand for all of your swimwear needs and at teamline.co.nz. And extending this lead now, she's doing a great job, Kate Barton, and in lane three is Annalise Cowie from Rotorua.
A great last 50 here for Annalise Cowie of Rotorua. She's taken the lead. Great endurance here from Annalise Cowie. She comes through to win. 2.42.41. A great improvement on her heat time. As uh, Kate Barton slips into second. Still a good time for her underneath her heat time. Hannah King from lane four in third. And awaiting the next race, the B final of the women's 200 metres breaststroke. In lane one from Romati is Tori Grout. In lane two from Capital, Jade Morrison. Lane three from Jazzy, Sarah Mabin. Lane four from Nelson South, Bree Anderson. In lane five from North Canterbury, Cassandra Taylor. Lane six from Capital, Jenna Ralston Larking. Lane seven from Nelson South, Lily Hall. And lane eight from Phoenix, Kaya Swiggs. There has been a new New Zealand Open record broken at the Auckland Short Course Series by Bradley Ashby in the 100 metres individual medley with a time of 52.73. So well done to Bradley Ashby for his New Zealand record. Back to the B final of the 200 metre breaststroke for women and in lane two, it is Jade Morrison of Capital who's doing a great job there. She leads the way through. But it's very close indeed. <laughs> 50 to go. Also a New Zealand age and open record for Melissa Cowan in the 200 metres breaststroke up in Auckland, 223.47. So well done to Melissa Cowan, the 15-year-old NZR record for her age and the New Zealand Open record holder at 15 years old. We go down to the final 25 of the 200 metre breaststroke. Still a great job for Jade Morrison. The capital team losing it over there on the other side of the pool. Middle of the pool, it is Bree Anderson challenging for the win, but I think Jade Morrison's done enough. She goes into the wall, she'll take out the B final. Very good performance for Jade Morrison. Bree Anderson in second, Cassandra Taylor takes out third. Well done to those ladies. Another news, if you didn't catch it, Melissa Cowan has taken the 15-year-old New Zealand record in the tournament of breaststroke and the open record at 223.75. Bradley Ashby has collected the New Zealand open record in the 100-metre individual medley at 52.7. And Andrew Jeffcoat has taken the 50-metre backstroke New Zealand record off Daniel Bell in the opening of the relay. So fantastic performances up at the Auckland Short Course Championships up there 
We move now and welcome the A finalist of the women's 200 metres breaststroke. In lane one from North Wave, Madeline Whittam. In lane two from Jazzy, Lucy Gordon. In lane three from Capital, Nikki Chapman. In lane four from Porirua, Bronna Ryan. In lane five from Phoenix, Rebecca Wilkins. Lane six from North Wave, Kira Smith. Lane seven from Pirates, Lucy Borlas. And lane eight from Kiwi, Madison Wills. The Commonwealth 2018 representative Bronna Ryan in lane four, 200 breaststroke. She lead, led into this final with a four second margin over lanes three and four. She goes to the turn first. She did a 229.36 this morning. The New Zealand record held by uh, now Melissa Cowan at 2.23, the 15 year old. Bronna Ryan leads them through the 50 in 33.09. And a nice swim out here in the outside lane. Kara Smith is saying, I want to be a part of this too. Kara Smith, uh, the former New Zealand record holder in lane six. And the New Zealand age group record holder at 16 and 17. Kara Smith's taking the lead now. That's a great start for her. And in lane three, Nikki Chapman is right there on the shoulder of Bronner Ryan. Now, good position to be in lane six. Might not be able to be seen too clearly, but probably out the corner of Bronner Ryan's eye. But Kira Smith is leading this 200 metre breaststroke. She wants to take her title back. She goes through. 75 metres left to swim. They went through in 110.9. Kira Smith here leading the way. Bronner Ryan pushing hard. Maybe inspired by the news of the New Zealand record getting broken. Kira Smith with half a body length over Bronner Ryan with 50 metres to swim. Nikki Chapman from Capital. She's holding strong in lane three. Lane five, Rebecca Wilkins starting to wind it up. Kara Smith into the final 25. I don't think she's going to be caught. What a comeback here for Kara Smith out of lane six. A disappointing heat swim this morning. And she's come back and blown them away in the final. She goes through to the wall. 227.919. She wins the title. Bronner Ryan is second in 229.95. Nikki Chapman wins the bronze. Coming into the wall now, Kira Smith driving in. And uh, just clearing the pool, we'll get a word from. And unfortunately, there has been a disqualification. Kira Smith has been disqualified. The winner is Bronner Ryan, 229.95. So we'll get a word with Bronner Ryan.
Disappointing news for Kira Smith there. Very upset. A very technical stroke, breaststroke, and uh, sometimes you roll the dice with it a little bit when you're under the pressure. Bron Ryan, mixed feelings for you coming in to take the title 229. How are you feeling right now? I'm pretty gutted for Kira. You never want to win a title like that. So big ups to her. That was a big race from her. And she bloody deserved that. She did indeed. It was a, a great swim from her. She went out from the get-go. She had a disappointing heat this morning. But hey, we're talking about your race. You backed it up with a 29 again tonight. In terms of your performance, how, how did you feel you went? Yeah, it was all right. Uh, I think we were hoping for a bit faster. Um, but, you know, it's just part of swimming. So. And you may or may not have heard the news of Melissa Cowan breaking the New Zealand record open at 2.23. Um, she must be going so well at 15, yeah? Amazing. It's honestly so good to finally see a group of British jokers jumping up and doing some big time. So big ups to her. Good on you, Bronner. Well done. Thank you. C final. <laughs> Quiet, please. Oliver Lutton in one, Bailey Perham in two, Riley McGuire in three, Thomas Bain in four, David So in five, Joshua Ames in six, Hugo Raffle in seven, Eli Ashby in eight. This is the C final. Lane two doing a great job, Bailey Perham out in front at the moment. Bailey Perham, can he hold on from lane two? He does. 2390 a great swim there. And look at that finish there from Bailey Perry, and that's what you like to see. Someone that puts the grit between their teeth and gives it absolutely everything. We move now to the B final of the men's 50 metres freestyle. In lane one, Cooper Gouge. Lane two, Daniel Shanahan. Three, Tom Drever. Four, Tarquin Magna. Five, Robin Shen. Six, William Campbell. Seven, Carlos Hardy. And eight, Jacob Bloomfield. And back they come. Looking across the field at the halfway mark on the way back. I think it is William Campbell. William Campbell absolutely flying. William Campbell gets there 23.75. I thought he was actually going to take off and over the touchpad at one point. 23.75, a turnover I haven't seen in a while. Great effort. The 25-year-old William Campbell out of lane six. Just four one hundreds in it. Back to Robin Shen. Tom Drever takes out third. Please welcome the finalists, a finalist of the men's 50 metres freestyle.
In lane one from Capital, Lockie O'Connor. In lane two from Capital, Atakura Julian. In lane three from Hamilton Aquatics, Danian Hardy. In lane four from Waitaha, Christopher Elson. In lane five from Faranui, Taiko Torepi Ormsby. Lane six from Neptune, Tom Gold. Lane seven from Faranui, Thomas McGibbon. And lane eight from Neptune, Zeke Pine. The Blue Ribbon event, the 50 metres freestyle. They go down the first 25. It's going to be all about the skills, all about the turn, getting the right distance from the wall, the power off the wall, heading out underneath that wake. They head with 25, 12 and a half metres to go. Lane five, Taiko Torepi Onsby. Taiko Torepi Onsky is going to win it. 22.43. He equals the New Zealand age group record. Equaling the New Zealand 17-year-old age group record held by Aronoko Famasili Bansi Prince from 2008. Taiko Torepi Ormsby wins the event. What a swim. An amazing work off the wall and buried it in the second 25. Tycho, well done. What a swim. 50 freestyle, such a technical event with something, you know, one thing goes wrong and the whole thing goes over, but you seem to just tick all the boxes tonight. How do you feel? Oh, I'm actually very happy with that. Um, this morning I uh, had a bit of a shocker of a turn, so after a bit of analysis, I've come, come back um, and I think I've nailed that turn, which meant, yeah, a very fast time for me, I think. Equaling that New Zealand age group record by a, a legend in sprinting, Orinoco. So that must be a good feeling for you. I mean, moving into that 50 metre distance, is this sort of an area you want to focus on now? Um, I think I've, I've been, always been a sprinter, but it's good to see my freestyle come along. Um, my new coach has made me, well, I've improved a lot in the freestyle, dropping a few seconds in the 100 and obviously half a second in the 50, which I'm very happy with. Were you aware you had a bit of a lead in that final 12 and a half metres? Yeah, I was looking at Chris. I knew who to be there. But it was just a very good race from everyone in the race. I'm very happy for everyone as well. Congratulations, Tygo. Congratulations. Great effort. We welcome to the pool deck the 50 metre freestyle final for para multi class. In lane one, Benjamin Gould from Geraldine. In lane two from Taupo, Kuda Tafai. Also from Taupo, Bailey Conlon. In lane four from Whangarei, Cameron Leslie. In lane five from Blenheim, Jack Bugler. In lane six from Sun Devils, Lance Dusto. And in lane seven from Nelson South, Finn Russ.
And away we go. The world record holder, Cameron Leslie in the middle of the pool. S4, Jack Bugler, the New Zealand record holder for S14 in five. So we'll first look out for Jack Bugler. He's got to go 28.13 to break his New Zealand record. And he comes through. And he breaks it again by two one hundredths of a second. A New Zealand record. And we watch for the world record. 37.5. Just outside for Cameron Leslie. But a New Zealand record for Jack Bugler. And I'm sure we'll see a win here for Cameron Leslie. Of course, the winner deemed the one closest to the world record, and you can't get much closer than the world record holder themselves. We'll speak to Cameron Leslie, the winner of that event, 37.83, just 0.3 off his world record from this morning. Well done, Cam. Congratulations. It's been a big day for you. Uh, 50 freestyle world record this morning, just a fraction off tonight, just as it was in the 100 IM. Uh, but all the same, a, a very successful day and a great event today just now. Yeah, a little bit sloppy on the finish there. Dragged my arm along the surface of the water a bit too much, so a bit frustrating. But, yeah, hey, good day to the office. It's uh, suits some pretty good times for me and consistencies. Yeah, it's there. You think there's a little bit more excitement, a bit more nervousness this morning that got you through? What do you think the difference is between the, you know, the, the morning and the evening? Um, probably preparation. Yeah, making sure you, you do the little things well. And I, there's probably a few things I could have done differently today or done better. Um, but hey, it's, yeah, take away from a good day, really. Absolutely. And what have we got to look forward to in terms of the next events on the program for you? Uh, we've got 200 free and 50 back tomorrow. And oh, mate, how good is it to be back racing at a national event again, eh? Congratulations, Cam. Look forward to seeing you in action tomorrow. Awesome. Cheers, Scott. From the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance. Expert advice and local service. From quote to claim management, we're with you every step of the way. Talk to your local Aon insurance broker today. We move now to event 26. The women's 50 freestyle and waiting by the blocks is the C finalist. Lane one, Natalie Hutchins. Lane two, Anika Yeldon. Lane three, Holly Rahurahu. Four, Beatrice Fordham-Duncan. 
five, Amy Pratt, six, Savannah Burke, seven, Olive Pierce, and eight, Taylor Miles. Good swim out here in lane eight by Taylor Miles. Taylor Miles in lane three. This is Holly Rahu Rahu. And it is Holly Rahu Rahu in lane three that takes it 27 1 5. Olive Pierce in second from lane seven. Taylor Miles from lane eight snaps third. Just 0.5 of a second separating, 0.4 of a second separating that uh, C final. We now move to the B final of the women's 50 metres freestyle. In lane one, Kate Benny, two, Bree Middleton, three, Esty Jacobs, four, Mania Butler, five, Caitlin Farrell, six, Brooke Miles, seven, Talita McEwen, eight, Isabel Furlow. Nice start in lane two for Bree Middleton, but it is lane three, Vanessa Owenhand, sorry, uh, Esty Jacobs. Esty Jacobs is right out in front, she's going to take it. ST Jacobs 2684. Manaya Butler is second 27 flat. Caitlin Farrell rounds out the top three. We welcome to the pool deck now the A finalists of the women's 50 metres freestyle. Lane one from Mount Monganui, Molly Shivnan. In lane two from Hamilton Aquatics, Paige Flynn. In lane three from Phoenix Aquatics, Vanessa Auerhand. In lane four from St. Paul's, Laura Littlejohn. Lane five from Sun Devils, Emma Godwin. Lane six from Neptune, Erica Fairweather. Lane 7 from Sun Devils, Grace Jones. And lane 8 from St. Peter's, Danielle Joblin. Lane four and five is where you need to be watching. Laura Littlejohn in four. Emma Godwin in five. Only point two of a second separating them in the heats. Emma Godwin's gone out really fast. She turns first. She wants this. Emma Godwin in lane five. 24.99 this morning. She buries the head. Can she hold on? The fast finishing Laura Littlejohn. She's going to. Emma Godwin, 24.79. Great swim from Emma Godwin to take the title. Laura Littlejohn second, just over 25. And Erica Fairweather takes out third from lane six.
Well done, Emma. Congratulations. Uh, that was a splash and dash and a half, that one there. A great start. You hit the wall, the feet hit the wall at the 25 first, and you never look back. Uh, how do you feel? Um, pretty happy. Yeah, didn't expect it, so stoked with it. Good to get one up on Laura Littlejohn. She's had such a great meet so far, but uh, not a lot in it there. But knowing that when you hit the 25 mark, you had that endurance to come home, I think a lot of people confident that you could have done that. So well done. So what next for you in the program? Uh, 50 back and 200 free tomorrow. Yep. Well, that sets you up really well. And uh, a relay after this night no, and the relay coming up too. So have a good warm down. We'll see you shortly. Thank you. Move now to event 226, the 50 metre freestyle for women, para multi-class. In lane one from Zenith, Katie Short. In lane two from Faranui, Lily Fox Mason. Lane three from Orca, Jane Fox. In lane four from QE2, Sophie Pascoe. Lane five from Faranui, Gabriella Smith. In lane six from Trojans, Siobhan Terry. Lane seven from Hamilton Aquatics, Melissa Donahue. And lane eight from coast, Shannon Murphy. Good start by Sophie Pascoe in the middle of the field, lane four. The world record holder at 28.20. Looking for a 28.19 or faster for a new world record this evening. She goes to the wall, big pump off the wall, powers home with the freestyle. Watching for the breathing, one breath there. She puts her head down for the wall. No breath, no breath, and she goes. 28.23, just three one hundred slower than the world record this morning. Still all the same, a very fast time. We watch for second, Gabriella Smith, 31.36. Lily Fox Mason touches the wall third. And Shannon Murphy coming through to finish in lane eight. Well done to her. We'll catch a word with Sophie Pascoe.
Congratulations, Sophie Pascoe. Put it there. World record this morning in the freestyle. You must be so happy with that and to come so close to doing it again. Uh, what a day. Yeah, it's been a tough little day. Um, actually, I think it's probably one of the first times I've swum slower for the first time at night. Uh, so I'm pretty disappointed in that. But look, it's first meet um, 450s um, instead of doing a 200 IM, which is obviously one of my best races. So yeah, look, happy with this morning swim and uh, to obviously match it tonight is pretty good. Well, what, well, we've seen two world records, the breaststroke and the freestyle. We just have to collect the butterfly and the backstroke in the next few days. Uh, but in terms of this tactic of the broken medley, just part of where you're at with your training? Absolutely. Um, obviously, we were put in a position where we had to adjust um, the year and obviously adjust the training. So I'm really enjoying how I'm training at the moment. At the moment and we just decided to focus on uh, four non-Paralympic events for myself. So to break it up, it makes it a bit easier on the body at the moment. And then it sets us up for, as a stepping stone for next year. Well, I know you're disappointed about going a little slow tonight, but three one hundredths of a second, not too bad. So well done, Sophie Pascoe. Congratulations. Swimming is my favourite way to start the day. It's my escape from the hustle and bustle. Keeps me moving and keeps me alive. It's the reason I want to be the best one day. It's, it's why, why we're going, going to it. See you in Topol. The next event on the program, event 27, the 4x50 metre medley club relay for men. And uh, always a lot of excitement around the arena. For this event and we start with lane one the north canterbury swim club a team in lane two the aqua blades new plymouth swimming a team in lane three the capital swim club a team in lane four the Fotanui swim club a team in lane five the Evolution Aquatics A Team. In lane six, the St. Peter's A Team. In lane seven, the Heratonga Sun Devils A Team. And lane eight, the Jazzy Swim Club A Team. Looking very, very buff indeed as we get started. Quiet, please. Into the backstroke first, backstroke. Breaststroke butterfly freestyle is the order. And this will be fast. Out comes Tycho Torepi Ormsby in lane four. Lane one is Jeremy Tasker. Tasker going quickly. Tycho Torepi Ormsby takes him out in 25 1 3. North Canterbury second. It is St. Peter's in third. Lane six is Evolution. This is Joshua Gilbert, the champion. Joshua Gilbert, Flynn McDonald for Faranui. St. Peter's is William Krofsky. In they go, William Campbell for Faranui. Connor Farrell for Evolution. Lockie O'Connor for 
Capital. And it is Braden Muley for Aquablades in two. All the pressure on these final swimmers. Daniel Shanahan lines up for Evolution. Tom Drever for Faranui. Atakura Julian for Capital. Slow start there for Daniel Shanahan. He's got a lot of work to do. Atakura Julian for Capital. Capital have it at the moment. It's going to be close. Tom Drever. Tom Drever for Faranui. Atakura Julian. Capital are going to take this. Who's going to get second? It's going to be Faranui followed by Evolution. They win it. Capital Swim Club A and a powerhouse team of Sam Brown, Lewis Clearbert, Lockie O'Connor, Atakura Julian to win the club medley relay. And uh, we'll catch a word with them now. So we'll get the Capital Swim Club over for a chat. Line up and smile and look at the camera, boys. You deserve it. The winners of the club medley relay, Lewis Clearbet. My biggest question for you, other than congratulations, say congratulations, is how did you draw the breaststroke straw? Oh, honestly, I don't know. Eh? I always get the, the short show on, the, on, the, on choosing strokes, but um, yeah, I guess anything for the team. A little bit of work to make up there. Uh, Sam, you started. Was it you that started? And uh, obviously pretty, pretty tight there. And, and Lockie, well done. But Atakura Julian, you had, to, you had to really bring it home in that final 50, and uh, you didn't disappoint. Great last 25 out of that field. Did you know, could you feel that pressure? No, nah, I was confident in my abilities. Eh? Nah, I was just for the boys. Finish it. And Lockie, how did that feel? Good being a part of the team? Oh, it's great. I've been very fortunate with my move down to Capital and so blessed to be a part of this squad with these boys. It's, no, it's a great opportunity for me and I'm just super happy where I am right now. So looking forward to the future. And Sam, um, 16 years old, breaking records all over the show. Uh, you must be on a high at the moment. Yeah, I'm feeling good at the moment. It's been bloody hard training with these boys all the time. <laughs> they do kill me sometimes, but yeah, it's good. Yeah. What a team atmosphere. Congratulations, Capital Swim Club A, the winners of the medley relay. Well done. We move now to the final event of this evening's program, followed by the medal ceremonies. It is event 28, the 4x50 metre medley club relay for women. And they're welcoming them onto the pool deck now. And in lane number one from Heratonga Sun Devils, it's the A-team. And in lane two, it is the Neptune Swim Club A-team. And in lane three, the St. Peter's Swimming Club A-Team. In lane four, Jersey Swim Club A-Team. In five, Capital Swim Club A-Team. No pressure, girls. In lane six, Mount Monganui Swimming Club A-Team. In lane seven, St. Paul's Swimming Club A-Team. And in lane eight, Capital Swim Club B team.
Away we go into the backstroke leg. We have uh, Jos- uh, Josiane Hill from Jersey in the middle of the pool. Sophie Irving in five alongside her from Capital. First to turn is lane number one. Emma Godwin. Emma Godwin in lane one. Head and shoulders above half a body length. Leads them through the first turn. 27-77. A great handy lead. And it is lane two. Erica Fairweather there who took them through second. Heratonga Sun Devils leads the charge at the moment in lane one. But it is lane four, Kaylee Jackson, the 50 metre breaststroke title holder, coming through strongly. Lane six is Zylika Pratt Smith, coming strong too. Into the water they go. Lane four is Maddie Horton. Maddie Horton, Esty Jacobs for Capital, Lucy Bartlett for Mount Monganui. Lane one's Grace Jones. But at the moment, it is Maddie Horton from Jersey, a body length ahead. Lucy Bartlett for Mount Monganui. Lily Cooney gets ready. Off goes Manaya Butler for Jersey. Manaya Butler leads the way for Jersey. Capital Swim Club's Ruby Heath. Ruby Heath tearing back into second place, I think. Great underwater work by Ruby Heath. Beautiful underwater work. But it is going to be Manaya Butler to win it for Jersey. Can Ruby Heath get there for second? She does indeed. Ruby Heath gets there for capital. Mount Monganui in third. And what a great finish to session number six of the Aon 2020 New Zealand Short Course Championships. And we'll chat with the Jazzy team shortly. Jesse Arnhill, Kaylee Jackson, Maddie Horton, Manaya Butler. Can all the medalists please make their way to the medal ceremony area? All medalists for the remaining events of the evening, please make your way to the medal ceremony area. Thank you. Jubilation here, the Jazzy team, they were in lane four, the pressure, pressure was on all of you girls to, to win, you had the fastest entry time and you did it, and you, uh, you did it in style. So uh, let's chat through, how do we go, Kaylee? Yeah, I think the girls went really good, I think second 25, they really stepped up, so yeah, good. Because you had a bit of a a bit of a deficit after the first 50, uh, obviously lane one taking it through, but you had to make that up and you did that pretty quickly. So, um, in terms of a team effort, do you swim regularly together as a relay, or is this a sort of a once-off? Um, not really. I'm sort of in a different squad to these guys, so to step up being in this relay, yeah, feels really good. <laughs> Well, it could be a winning combination for the few. So well done to Jazzy Swim Team, winners of the club medley relay. Give them a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. From the schoolyard to the stadium, Aon has been helping Kiwis strive for sporting success on a local, regional and national level for over 20 years. We're proud to support New Zealand's sporting organisations and communities up and down the country. As New Zealand's leading insurance broker, we can also support you when it comes to your insurance, expert advice and local service. From quote to claim management, we're with you every step of the way. Talk to your local Aon insurance broker today. Challenge yourself this summer at the Banana Boat Ocean Swim Series. Distances to suit all abilities. And this year hosting the New Zealand Secondary School Champs. So much more than a swim. Enter at oceanswim.co.nz.
Swimming is my favorite way to stop the day. It's my escape from the hustle and bustle. Keeps me moving and keeps me alive. It's the reason I want to be the best one day. It's why we're going to get it. See you in Topol. Calling all medalists to the medal ceremony area, thank you. This medal ceremony, the medals be presented by head coach of Coast, uh, Capital Swim Club, I should say, Gary Hollywood. And uh, what a team of swimmers he has prepared with his fellow coaches there in Wellington. Must be very proud of some of the swims coming out of this week, Gary Hollywood. And uh, I think we're almost ready to get underway, just waiting for... The signal, so Gary Hollywood, head coach of Capital Swimming Club. We start with the event 23. Event 23, the 200 metre breaststroke for men, the final, the medal ceremony, third place in 2.11.17 and a new New Zealand age group record from Kiwi West, Luan Grobola. In the silver medal position in 2.10.43 from Aquablades, Zahn Collins. And winning in a time of 209.45 from Evolution Aquatics Tauranga, Joshua Gilbert. Move now to event 24, the women's final 200 metre breaststroke medal ceremony. Third place, 234.23. From Jazzy, Lucy Gordon.
the silver medal position, 231.08. From Capital, Nikki Chapman. And winning the gold medal in 229.95 from Potidua City Aquatics, Bronna Ryan. And a show of sportsmanship. Handing over to Kira Smith, who got disqualified in this event, but did a great performance all the same. So emotional scenes for the ceremony of the 200 metre breaststroke for women. We move now to event number 25, the men's 50 metre freestyle final. And winning the bronze medal in 23.25. From Neptune, Tom Gold. In the silver medal position in 2307. From Waitaha, Christopher Ilson. And winning in 22.43. In a equaled New Zealand record. Taiko Torepi Ormsby from Faranui. Moving now to event 225, the 50 metre freestyle for men, para multi-class. In third place in 28.95, from Topo Swimming Club, Bailey Conlon. In second place in a new New Zealand record, 28.11 from Blenheim Swimming Club, Jack Bugler. And winning in 37.82, the world record holder from Whangarei, Cameron Leslie. Move now to event 26, the women's 50 metre freestyle final. And our top three place getters, starting with third place, the bronze medalist in 25.74 from Neptune, Erica Fairweather. Second place in 25.04 from St. Paul's, Laura Littlejohn. And winning in a time of 24.79 from the Sun Devils, Emma Godwin. Moving now to event 226, the 50 metre freestyle for women, para multi-class. In third place in 32.72 from Orca, Jane Fox. In second place in 31.36 from Faranui, Gabriella Smith. And winning in a time of 28.23, the world record holder from QE2, Sophie Pascoe. Yes. Move now to event 27, the 4x50 metre medley club relay for men. Plenty of noise when this event was on and in third place in a total time of 141.94 is the Evolution Aquatics Tauranga team. Winning the silver medals in a total time of 141.71 is the Faranui Swim Club A team.
and winning the event in 141-17, the Capital Swim Club A team. And there with Gary Hollywood, their coach. A great photo there. And our final medal ceremony of this evening's session is event 28, the 4 by 50 metre medley club relay for women. And in third place, in a total time of 157.13, Capital Swim Club A team. And in the silver medal position, in 156.58, Hamilton Aquatics A team. And winning the gold medal in 155.39, the Jazzy Swim Club A team. And well done to all of those medalists from session number six, a very exciting one. Well, a fantastic session of finals tonight. Um, a couple of, a lot of New Zealand records, some New Zealand age group records, standout performances by some of our para athletes, as well as Sam Brown, the 16 year old, breaking that 400 metre uh, freestyle New Zealand age group record. Taiko Torepi Ormsby, of course, cleaning up in the 50 freestyle. Emma Godwin uh, coming through with the win in the 50 freestyle as well. It's been a fantastic evening. We thank you for joining us and we look forward to having you back for day four tomorrow morning with coverage starting at 8.20 live and free on Sky Sport Next YouTube channel. This is Scott Rice signing off. We'll see you in the morning.